Okay, this is the motherboard and power supply that we uh, we repaired in the previous videos. So we're going to put this uh, motherboard and power supply back into its uh, its old uh, old Antec full size ATX case. And we got some fans to put back in here. The I/O panel. So uh, yeah, we're finally gonna fire this off, and uh, we'll see what happens. And I got another project here is my two amplifiers that got submerged in water in the back of my trunk in my Camaro. Uh, these ought to be a fun job. So we'll see in the, the next cut I'll put this in the uh, in the case. Alright, so this old Relic P4 2.4 gigahertz uh, uh, processor and motherboard is uh, Looks like it's being pretty stable right now. The power supply caps changed out, and the uh, power supply caps on the motherboard changed out. I uh, put everything back in. Um, I put a lot of the original cards back in on the same spot and everything. Checked everything out, and uh, yeah, we got a desktop now, so everything's looking good. So I just have to go through and put it on a um, you know stability test. I'll run it for 24, 48 hours and see if she locks up and uh, call it a win. So there you go. You can revive your old computers with just changing some capacitors.